Good afternoon, I'm Jeff on the Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3220 Duncan Drive here in Lake Oswego. We're located at the rear of the home. We have a four inch PVC clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. It looks like our standpipe here has been damaged. You can see that it's become offset from the uh, actual pipe, the connection to the main main line here itself. So I would recommend getting that fixed. It looks there is a small tree right next to this clean out here, and I can 100% guarantee you you're going to get a big root ball down inside that. Uh, if you don't correct that. So at this time, it's not affecting the flow or anything. It's the clean out standpipe, not the actual main line that we're now in. So anyway, here we go. We do have water running and I'll zero out the camera counter right here. And we're going to let the line drain out here for a minute so we can have a better look at what's going on here. It looks like the uh, pipe has become offset. Uh, my camera right now looks like it's running in right into the, to the pipe joint. And it does not look like it is going to pop over the top of that. It's just way too offset there. So anyway, we'll let the line drain out here. We should have a clearer picture of that in a moment. All right, line's all drained out at this point here, and I tried locating it. I'm having, I, I'm able to pick up the signal, but where my cameras are at right now, it almost seems like it's smack dab underneath the fence line right at the rear of the property. Uh, but you can see here how offset that joint has become there. That's the Fernco showing, and there's the actual piece of pipe. That's that's at least as tall as the camera head there, so it's about an inch to inch and a half offset. Um, that does need to be corrected. Um, that's probably most likely allowing water out. The joint is very compromised, and given the amount of trees and stuff around there, it, it's possible it was a tree that caused this, uh, the roots pulling the line apart. Uh, but at some point, you're going to get roots through this joint here as well. And on top of that, we have a huge lip here for debris to get caught up against. So it's an issue for a whole bunch of reasons. So I do recommend correcting that. I'm going to pull back here just a little bit. I'll try and locate right here on um, that spot there like I said did seem to be under the fence line so I'm gonna probably have to locate before the actual problem itself so do use some caution when digging okay I've uh, tried to do some locates here I pull back uh, move the camera around 10 feet I've picked up the locator here this is kind of in the backyard area well, the grass area it's kind of covered up by leaves right now um, but this is roughly about 10 from the fence line. Uh, once I get beyond this point, it gets really tricky to get an accurate locate. Uh, the, the camera's diving down, or the line's diving down here pretty hard. Um, when I get out here closer, I was able to get a half decent locate back here at about 33 feet. Um, but I'm getting a depth of around 9 feet deep, and it's just a, it's a very awkward spot to try and locate. There's a, a big bush there and then the fence. Um, so I do recommend calling for locates. I'm just not able to get all that accurate of a uh, at least a depth anyway I can I can get pretty accurate on the location the depth is trickier um, I think this offset here may be right under the fence line or just past it so when I when I try and locate here all the way back to about this point here I'm getting the, the, the signal just is not moving at all which is common when the pipes diving really hard um, so it does appear that, that part uh, is under the fence line or beyond it so um, I do recommend calling for locates before correcting that, I also recommend um, a rescope either during the repair or after it. One, to check the repair, but two, to look at the rest of the sewer line. 
I don't know how much further it goes. That, that could be where it terminates there or just beyond that point. It may go for another 40, 50 feet. Um, that I just don't know. But I have put some white paint here in the backyard um, over in the, uh, the area where I'm getting the signal. The depth I'm just not as certain on because I'm getting about 5 feet deep. Uh, when I'm at my, I'm back at 26 feet, when I'm out at 36 feet, 10 feet out beyond that point, it's more like 10 feet deep. Um, so anyway, it's just worth doing some second set of locates there. All the pipe leading up to that point there at the offset is in good shape. So far, that's the one issue that needs to be dealt with. Well, and then the, uh, the clean out here needs to be corrected as well before the roots from this tree right next to it get in here. So there's our clean out, and there's the tree right next to it. So there's a decent chance this tree may have actually caused that. Um, that and the pipe was dry fitted. They didn't glue that joint, um, which is, you know, when a tree gets a hold of it, it's going to jerk it loose. Then the line travels out towards the rear of the property, and I do have a paint marking over there. It's uh, kind of aiming right at it, that tree there at the fence line is where the line's going. 